It's alive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Instagram. Uh, not that you necessarily need welcome into an app you presumably already had. Well, that you're no doubt already familiar with. Uh, do you think I should start again or okay, carry on? The show will be starting any second now, so please take your seats. Or uh, stand if you'd rather. It's completely up to you. Charlie is just preparing his, um, I'm not really sure what he's doing actually, but certainly doesn't seem quite ready to begin just yet, so uh, as I say, just hang tight, uh, any moment now. Thumbs up, Charlie, if you're ready. Right, okay, I'll just do this. For the final time this pandemic, live from his house, direct to your telephone or tablet, ladies and gentlemen, mash your heart icons for Charlie Burns! Hello.
Everyone, good evening. It's the last night of the tour. What a shame to be at the last night of the tour. The four week tour that has seen me go from that end of my studio to behind this backdrop where my piano is to, to this bit of floor on my studio. Um, this bit of floor in my studio, on my studio, sure. Um, I thought we'd close things with a bit more of a oh, quiet sit down, keep it nice and chilled out. Um, so I'm going to play a couple more songs than I normally would at one of these because it's the last one uh, and lots of you requested stuff on the internet which is really nice of you. Um, so uh, a few people uh, mentioned this one, Stephen the Sea, what are you saying dude? And he wrote the other half over there. <laughs> I keep like I keep dropping tap references. Oh, it's amazing. I'm not even trying. Uh, anyway, a few people asked for this one. Um, this is going to be a very hushed version of it compared to what you might already know. Uh, this song's called Oceanography. Okay. So wasted years Whatever kills me first And all the best parts Of all the best things Is all I'd ever want to be Oh, mirrors and the skyscrapers They build And towering to weigh my worth against while I try to hold my breath until Right. 
Last one of these. Um, yeah, don't really know what to say particularly. Um, every single week of these, I've had a different friend of mine do the introduction at the top of the show. Um, so a different person has basically sent me a load of daft recordings over WhatsApp, uh, telling people to take their seats because the concert is about to begin. Um, and I've never said thank you to any of them during the stream because I'm a bastard. Um, so uh, thank you to the Steve Price uh, for doing the announcements in week one. Uh, thank you to Huddersfield's finest Johnny G uh, for doing the introductions in week two. Thank you to my uh, sometime bandmate and uh, musical uh, funter genius, uh, Ed the Dog, um, for doing the intro uh, th the week before last uh, on Piano Week. Um, and thank you this evening to my friend uh, Rob Maiden, uh, also known uh, as Brett Domino, occasionally, um, for doing this week's intro. Um, it's been a real pleasure having people send me their fun ideas of what they think a show intro should be like each week. So thank you so much to my very, very nice friends for doing that for me. I hope you appreciated it. And most weeks, uh, the music that's been playing me in has been from an album by uh, a, a, a theremin virtuoso called Clara Rockmore. Um, you, should, you should check out Clara Rockmore. Interesting story. Um, a few people asked for this one. I've been trying to do stuff I've never done before on these streams, and I think I've never actually played this song on my own uh, in front of anyone. Uh, so this is slightly different to normal. Um, and I won't be doing the extended outro because I don't have either of my spectacular touring drummers. Um, so uh, this is a song uh, whose chorus began when I was about 14, um, which means that the chorus is quite old now. It takes a better man than I to realize There will come a day when you must let things lie 
I can be overwrought as anyone but then We're all just battles raging underneath some skin I only listen to the words I want to hear I only listen to the words I want to hear And I only give you one word answers And I very much. There's lots of chatter going on which is very nice. Um, thanks for chattering. Um, my wife will fill me in on uh, what sorts of things you're saying um, so don't call me a prick because she'll tell me. Um, okay. It's close enough. Um, so yeah, someone asked for this earlier and I thought I'm not in the right tuning, um, but sod it, I'll just do it. Because, um, you know, it's the last one, um, and I'm kind of sad to see them go. Um, these live concerts, it's been, it's been fun for me. Um, I hope it's been fun for you. Uh, so now, uh, this is a song about uh, the, the firebombing of Dresden, sort of. Uh, and it's called Dresden. Ah. Um, not such a chipper subject. This song sounds weirdly less depressing when you knock it up a semitone. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, uh, thank you for requesting this, whoever it was. Try. 
you. My foot's gone to sleep. <laughs> oh, thanks so much for watching. I'm, I'm hoping you're enjoying all of this. Um, in the same way that I guess most of us are finding it quite weird when we go outside to like the pub or go and get on a train or whatever and we see loads of people around. Maybe for for all of us musician types is gonna really freak us out the first time we hear proper applause after all of this pandemic business is, is done instead of just seeing a load of emoji hands and, and hearts and stuff. But I think it's probably gonna feel quite good. So that's all right, isn't it? Um, okay, uh, someone else requested this one. Um, so I'm gonna play it. Um, I, th I thought I'd already played it to be honest because I always play this one, um, but I hadn't. Uh, so I'm gonna do it. Um, 
This is normally very loud and belty and I'm being all like, giving it all my Roy Orbison shit. Um, but in this form, um, it will probably reveal how much I rip off Dry the River in most of my songwriting. Um, this song's called Bruising. Okay. Maybe I'm just living on term love. Maybe that's all we can count on Lord knows I'm not entirely a master So why must I bend myself backwards It must try no blood left in my foot. Um, <laughs> my friend Ben from the Society Pages and I were texting today and he was saying, I don't know how you're going to sit down cross-legged for that long. Um, and I said, no, it'll be no problem, mate. Um, 
Just give me a minute while I wiggle some blood back into my foot. Um, okay. <laughs> I've got a couple more songs left. Um, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very excited to not be sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, these shows have all been in support of uh, my album Last Night's Glitter, which was released a month ago. Um, and the physical versions of which will be arriving at my house this week, I'm told. Um, so thanks to any of you who've pre-ordered them. Uh, I look forward to sending them out to your houses. Um, if any of you haven't uh, and you would like to uh, buy one, uh, you can go to the merch stand, which is charliebarnesmusic.co.uk. Um, and you can send me a message when you order it and I'll respond to said message, which is kind of like being at the merch stand and having a conversation, right, in a way. Um, if you think that these live concerts have been of any worth, uh, maybe buying a record would be a nice way of uh, showing that. Um, that's enough of the uh, glorified begging uh, or salesmanship. Um, this song is what starts the album off albeit in a very different form and it doesn't have any of the uh well it only has a couple of the words in it but anyway this is a song uh called sing to god um and i've again never i've played it on my own a lot but i've never played it this kind of quietly before so um let's see how it goes and see if i screw up that one chord that i keep screwing up all right
hoping you would find out I was hoping you would find out anyway you can All right. So that's going to be the last one of mine I'm going to play. Just need to get the lyrics up for the other one I'm going to play. Um, yeah, so uh, I wrote that song um, quite a long time ago now. Um, I think I was probably about 22 when I wrote that one. Um, and it's about... Uh, I guess it's about um, the grieving process um, and some of the thoughts I was having at the time of wishing that maybe I believed in something higher um, because that might make the grieving process a little bit easier. Um, and uh, it didn't have a title, um, and obviously, like, there isn't really a chorus, so uh, there, was th th there was nowhere to just pinch a word from uh, or whatever. Um, and I was thinking and thinking and thinking, what could I possibly call this song? Uh, and then I was at a house party at a mate's house in Leeds when I realised, uh, and I, I imagined that maybe the thinking about this might have been spurred on by my putting something on the, uh, the, the CD player at said house party. But basically I thought, holy shit, one of my favourite albums ever made is an album called Sing to God. And what a beautiful phrase that is. Um, and uh, wouldn't that make a good title for a song about um, the grieving process and faith or lack thereof? Um, and uh, the, the man who, who wrote that album uh, is a man called Tim Smith, who we very, very, very sadly lost um, very recently. Um, and uh, it just, yeah, I'm, I'm reminded of how much joy um, Tim Smith's music has brought into my life uh, over the years and how when I was in the very, very, very sad places I was in um, in my late teens, um, listening to Cardiacs um, was the way that I could guarantee to put a smile on my face even when I felt absolutely fucking miserable because it is the most amazing music. Uh, it, it, like I've, I've, I've played it to friends and they've said where would you even fucking start writing something like this it's it's mad um but perfect uh, at the same time and uh it kind of feels like it must have just come from uh somewhere holy um so um with that in mind uh from the song sing to god i am going to play uh, a song from the album sing to god um i was going to play the first track of the album sing to god uh, which is called Eden on the Air. But unfortunately, my good friend Mike Venart decided that he would start his live stream concert on Saturday with Eden on the Air. Um, so, <laughs> so I had to very frantically learn another song, but I'll, I'll, I'll let him off because I wouldn't know who the band were were it not for him. Uh, waxing lyrical about them uh, very often when I, when I was a teenager following his band around the country. So I'm just going to turn around so that I can see the lyrics because they're up on my computer screen over there. Um, yeah, so this song is called Odd Even, uh, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to play the crazy keyboard solo, but I'll try and sing it, uh, which won't work. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. This will be my last song. I'll have a chat afterwards. Died in after brother by the side of sister.
past gratified with the smallest things it may can Cried with her apron all over her head she gone all gently down as always in is all about on my guitar as well. Oh. Oh. For Tim Smith, bringer of fucking endless joy to so many people, um, you will be treasured forever. What a legacy. Um, yeah, hello everyone. Um, that's still not the weirdest set of noises I've ever heard from Charlie. Yeah, that's probably quite accurate. Um, yeah, so, hi everyone. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, um, well, okay, that's it, everyone, it's all over, uh, if something it's not all over, I'll, I'll do, I'll do some more of these in the future, I'm sure, but, uh, maybe not with quite such alarming regularity, it's very bright, isn't it, I might just do a bit of that, um, yeah, thank you, uh, very much, uh, for tuning in to all of these, uh, it really does mean the fucking world, um, uh, it's been, yeah, just nice to, feel like there's something happening and that people are people are there um so yeah uh thank you for all of that um it's been cool let's see if anyone's written anything interesting in the questions bit how are my feet <laughs> yeah my feet are okay um yeah i've got i've got some blood back in them now um yeah, uh, so yeah, thanks again to all of my um, voiceover people who did my intros, uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching these, uh, it's really cool that you've all been watching. Um, I hope you're all okay. Um, yeah, I hope you're all okay. What kind of guitar was that? It's a Martin 00L17. Um, who designed my background? My wife and I made it. Uh, we painted it. All of the ones that look good are my wife. All of the ones that look crap are me. Um, and she stuck it together because uh, she is very clever. Um, yeah. I uh, don't think I've really got much else to add. I literally just joined. Well, Jason, you missed the concert, but it's okay because I'm just going to put it up on IGTV uh, like I always do. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. Um, Praise my wife. Yes, praise my wife. Um, okay, well, uh, this will be really loud because the microphone's right here, but it's time for the last time for a while for me to rip off Adam Buxton and say to you all, thank you for watching. What's next in the pipeline for me? Uh, well, I've got most of my next album written, um, so I'm going to start recording it 
I do have a couple of other recording projects that I need to do first. Uh, some cool stuff for some friends, which is very exciting. Um, but then I will be recording uh, my next album as quickly as possible. Um, mostly in here. I've got a friend who's going to do the drums at his house because uh, he's got a nice studio there. Uh, so uh, hopefully that will come out as soon as possible. Um, yeah, that's that's it really. Um, okay. Give us more merch. I'll sell you more merch. Um, <laughs> one day. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if you haven't yet, buy my new record so that I can record my next record. Uh, okay. Uh, I love you.